everyone and welcome back to my channel I have been gone for a while because um we have been dealing with some devastating deaths um two of which have taken place like within a week of one another um we left a we left a burial um, went to the hospital, spent the day. The next day, uh, another key player in the same closeness of the family um, passed away. It's just been almost unbearable. Derek and I are actually, if you saw some of my last video, um, we are fixing up our game room. And honestly speaking, we've um, done some, we've done some changes in there. And so we're actually going to pick up a SETI uh, today and, um, you know, just kind of start bringing a room together, getting the room set up. But um, like I said, guys, we, we've had some major deaths um in the family in september um garrick's uh father passed away on january 7th his sister um abruptly went into cardiac arrest and she passed away um at the age of 40. <sighs> Um, she leaves behind, um, three children, two of which are under the age of 18. That was, we just buried her. What is today? Oh God, I'm trying not to cry. We just buried her this past Tuesday. Today is Saturday. We just buried her Tuesday. We went to sit with his grandmother, who is also her grandmother. Um, this is my husband's mom's mother. We went to sit with her on Wednesday. And we received a call on Thursday that she had transitioned. She had been um, battling sarcoma, very aggressive cancer. I'm sorry, guys. And so... Hey guys, I'm back. I had to run outside. Garrick um, had called me. We come outside. We are about to go get a, uh, a piece that we're adding to our game room. And um, we found this at Finders Keepers. Um, consignment shop and so if you're ever in Atlanta and you're and you're going to Avondale Estates there's a it is awesome it's called Finders Keepers she has a clothing boutique and she has the furniture and the furniture is pretty much how man a majority of, of my library uh, furniture that I have to set up my library came out of there so take you guys along with me Elsewhere in the NBA, the Clippers came from behind Miami to beat the Heat. Kawhi Leonard had the first triple double of his career. It's cold out here today. What's the temperature? And, ten assists. and ESPN is reporting Golden State is finalizing a deal to send about center Willie Cauley-Stein of the Dallas Mavericks for a second round pick. In this I don't like 45. The PGA Tour is at Torrey Pines in San Diego this weekend. No. As they hit the halfway point, We're Tiger Woods is on just our six community. shots We got to take him down. Solid stroke and he walks it in. All right, guys. I'm going to show you five this keeper. Get okay, guys, we, we had to take a little um, food break when we came to an Asian buffet. I had all kind of stuff over here, but I had my favorite hot and sour soup. My plate looks a mess. And that's the buffet up there. Got all kind of stuff. Gary's in a really interesting 
chicken. What was it called, the Garrett? The lemon drop chicken? But it's, uh, it's fried really good, as you can see. But it's like it's missing something. It's like some type of flavor. But it's good, though. All right, guys. So we'll be able to find this keeper in a minute. Just have to take a... We haven't really chance to just eat. So much going on. My plate looks so gross. Guys, this is beautiful. Look at this. And look at these charges underneath. Can't convince my husband to buy anything else right now because he's not in the mood, but <laughs> now I'm gonna say in the mood. I just spent a lot of money in here. This is beautiful. It's a good seventy, eighty dollar set. Hmm. That was the kind of look I was telling you that I was looking for. So this is a real nice chair. So this would have been a look, guys, like these two chairs here with a small table in between if we had not gone with the setting. Those are very different. We're looking at these because we are creating a sitting area. Some of the things in here can be a little expensive. But the way it works, the longer it sits, the more percentage comes off of it.
um, after Garrick and I left um, Finders Keepers picking up our SETI, uh, we decided to kind of just come home. We were so tired um, dealing with so much stuff um, emotionally. It's just really draining. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh, sorry. <laughs> Got this running here. It's just emotionally draining. And um, so we just really wanted to come home and just relax. Um, we are leaving for Mississippi in a few days um, to lay his grandmother to rest. She won't be buried here in Atlanta. She will be buried um, in Mississippi. His sister and father, his sister on Tuesday, on Tuesday last Tuesday, well, no, this Tuesday, this past Tuesday, because I just went back to work. But um, his sister was buried Tuesday. She was buried here um, in Atlanta. And um, his father was buried here in Atlanta. So, yeah. So, um, I'm just kind of Garrett with the church this morning. Um, I just, it just wasn't, I don't know. I'm just couldn't really make it this morning. I'm just, I think today is just going to be kind of like a lazy Sunday. Just me getting up and cleaning up and that's about it. But no, um, yeah. So guys, I'm, going to show you my SETI and show you my um, setup up here really quickly before I get some breakfast on and some dinner on. So let me kind of show you my new find, what I purchased. Here's my SETI and I'm going to show you guys something that's so amazing. So in just a second. So this is my SETI. This is what I, when I was at the consignment furniture shop, Finders Keepers, it was originally three, well, it came down to 375 and then they gave me 50% off of that. And so Garrick, in total, we paid $202. It is absolutely beautiful. I love that pattern. I just, I just love the overall look and the details. Now, let me show you this. <laughs> I've had this city that I got from Haverty's. You see it? Identical to the one upstairs. I got this from Haverty's when we moved in his home 12 years ago. I paid $1,600 for this city. At that time, I thought it was a great deal. I just was so in love with it. Now to look at this one up here and pay $200, I'm like, what? I have like basically the same city, top quality, beautiful, for $200. So we're going to create, and I have um, my wine rack over here. We're gonna put a table like right there and we're gonna have an area where people can sit in and, just, and sit down and have a drink, place their drinks and things like that. So I wanna get this table fixed up. I don't know if we're gonna do like another chair right there. Probably it will have to kind of match this one and be kind of small like my um, library chairs. So we'll see, <laughs> we'll see. So let me sh show you an update on the game room. Oh, and I have another piece I just added. Okay, so of course, I think you guys saw how I, you know, put this, place this table last time. I moved the SETI, uh, SETI that I had that was sitting on this, on this side here over there. These two shelves are new. Span around here. Here. Now this is new. This is our this is our um, entertainment area. Um, we have our radio. We have our game. I put my PlayStation Four out here. We have a TV. Now here's the thing with this. I wanted in the middle there. I wanted a fireplace. You know, I, the, um, Big Lots has some beautiful ones with fireplaces, and I want a fireplace. But 
when my husband, American Signature Furniture in my area, they are moving to a building like down the street. So they were trying not to take all of this stuff. <laughs> so they marked all this stuff down to like 60% off. My husband got this, this entertainment center with these two, because they these two shelves go with it. We just broke them up for like $120, I think. This was originally like, I don't know, 500. It, it was a lot. So, um, 120, we just really couldn't pass it up. And I'm not done, you know, decorating it yet. I'm not even sure if these going to stay on there. I got to get to Hobby Lobby and get me some things to kind of decorate it. So, yeah, this is kind of how my game room is shaping up. And, guys, when I tell you I was up here all night last night, I came in here and I turned the fireplace on in here. And I was just up here all night last night. It was just an amazing time. Let me show you this. You see this piece of art here? I actually got to find a frame for it. I won that piece of art. It is so, it's Paul Lewin. Lewin, I think that's what it's, I think it's Lewin. I'm turning around because I got it back. Yeah. When I tell you, it is so gorgeous. And um, it's, it's small enough to go right here on this wall right here. And I'm going to make sure that I get a beautiful, beautiful, uh, frame for it so I'm just when I tell you that this this space is just what I really I've been looking forward to and what I'm really wanting and it's just shaping up and coming along our next project will be outside and we definitely got to get our outside together <laughs> try to turn this TV on I'm just I'm so in love with this and then like I said my Music down there, the, my Bluetooth speaker, my game. And I actually have two, um, what you call, X-Rocker chairs that I keep them. They, because you don't have to have a clear walkway right here. I keep them, like, kind of in my bedroom and then bring one out here when I'm playing the game. That's my game room, guys. It's time for me to get on my dinner. So I decided to do a little quick uh, cook with me. Let me straighten this up here. We're going to do some smothered baked chicken. And so um, I've already seasoned up the chicken. I actually seasoned that chicken last night. And so um, I have the uh, chicken broth over here. I have the chicken, uh, I guess you call them bouillon cubes. <laughs> And so what I did was I added some butter, stuck it in the oven, and let the butter melt in the bottom of the pan. So now I am ready to start adding the chicken to the pan. And I'll go ahead and start doing that. Just kind of get in here. I guess I can just get some type of pattern to it. I'm just laying them in there. I guess they need to be like in a straight line or something. Because right now I'm just putting them in here. Can you guys see that? I'm trying to film and using one hand and. I have this thing that. Um, Ever since I started watching um, the cook, Philly Boy AJ, I love his cooking and I love his videos. Um, he seasons his food like at, uh, at uh, overnight and sometimes he seasons it for days and let that seasoning get in there, which is something that I have started doing. Okay, so I have the chicken placed in there and now I am going to just add my onion and pepper over it.
I'm going to stick, um, put one of my cubes in here. Uh-oh. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Uh-oh. And actually, I have another cube I need to get. So stick my other cube in there. So I have my two cubes there. I am going to add a little bit more butter here so it can melt there. And so now I am going to add chicken broth and I'm going to add it to the sides here. Okay, I have that added, and so now that I have that added, so what I'm going to do now is I am going to um, no, no, no. I'm throwing here. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place it in the oven. I I kind of switch between covering it and not covering covering it. So I think I'm going to cook it um the first hour on cover, and then when I make the gravy. For the second hour, I am going to cover it and let the gravy kind of simmer and cook around in it. And um, so in about an hour, I'll show you guys what this looks like. Also, we're also having uh, fried cabbage and I already have the cabbage uh, chopped over here. I just use green peppers because my family's not big on onion. So I didn't want to put any onion in there. So I've already have that and we're going to eat some white rice and um cornbread with it and so but i will show you this in about an hour okay guys so it's been cooking for about an hour this is how it looks right now so i'm going to remove the chicken and i'm going to do my gravy okay so now i'm going to do my gravy i put just a little bit of cream of celery in here because i like just a little celery taste but sometimes i put celery like when i'm doing my turkey uh turkey um wings and so just a little bit of that to add to the gravy i'm going to use a little cornstarch and add that down in there and kind of get it a little thick uh not too too much because i don't want it too too thick just a little bit okay so i think i'm going to do just about this much here that's about it and then I'm gonna stir it around and I'm gonna add the chicken back in there and cook it for like another hour I said that I, I, I cover it on the last hour so I did put some foil on it. Um, I am going to um, let it cook some with the foil on. And then after a while, I'm going to take the foil off. I'm going to let it cook for another hour with the foil on. And then I'm going to take the foil off and let it cook a few minutes without it. Because I like that golden brown look. So I'm about to put it in here. I think I need to just probably add some holes um, in here to... Uh, you know, let it. So I'm going to do that guys and then I'm going to put it um, back in the oven for about an hour. Alright guys, so I am about to make my um, fried cabbage. I am, and um, I fried it and add a little water to it and I like, to, I like to always cook it in a pot. You can use whatever you want to cook your cabbage. Me personally, I like to use... Um, bacon because so i like that seasoning of the bacon with it i am going to use uh some pepper um uh, garlic powder complete seasoning 
and salt and I think I have some onion powder so I'm gonna use a little onion powder since I'm not putting any onion I'm uh, cooking it with any onions so there's my onion powder so yeah and onion powder okay so this one will be more cliff related I won't be really doing a talk through on this one just kind of showing you how everything comes together with the fried rice So I added half of the cabbage, and so what I want to do is while I add half of it, I want to season it. And then add the other half, and then add the seasoning to the other half. to this one and trust me after you add this seasoning you should not need any more because it is seasoned good enough and stir it around and start letting it fry so you want to stir this around and get this in there why is my camera to the side? And what usually what I do is I start adding just a little water to it and let it kind of fry and steam all at the same time. Just a little bit to it. So it, I haven't added any to it yet. And then again, I might just watch it and see if I need to add any water to it because I may not. And so what I normally do is I put a top on that and I just let that fry and soften up, soften up to my liking. Sometimes I add a little vinegar to it. Give it just a little, just a little kick. So, but yeah. It's frying. And I have the chicken going. And I'm about to, in about maybe 30 minutes or so, get my cornbread in the oven. I just do Jiffy cornbread, pop it in the oven, get the rice going, and my Sunday dinner will be done. Okay, so um, this is how I look. I added some water to it. I fried it, and then I'm doing a little steaming of it. And this is how it's looking. So it should be ready in just a moment. Looking good. Look at there. Okay, guys. So these have cooked for like an, another hour. Um, they're pretty much done. But I want to um, cook it a little bit longer. I don't want to get them really, really dark. <laughs> but as you can see, I didn't want my sauce really too 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 thick it's thick enough for me and i like that so it's it's thick enough for me you can, but you can add the starch and you can thicken it up to whatever you're liking but this is how i like mine all right guys so my sunday dinner is complete here's my chicken like i said i don't like my gravy too too thick i like it just like this i did my rice i put my rice over here and when i cook I like to go ahead and containerize my things so I'm not I can go ahead and get my kitchen and everything cleaned up here's my cabbage and cornbread back here and let's see what time let's see the time here yeah, it's a uh, yeah, about 520. It's uh yeah. 
I wanted to have dinner cooked earlier than this, but it just didn't quite fall that way. So I'm going to let, you know, everything cool down and then I'm going to containerize all of this. And so my family will have, you know, to just come in here and kind of get them some food and already be in containers and the kitchen already clean because like I said I don't like having to having to um spend all night cleaning I'm on camera looking crazy <laughs> but guys I am going to end the vlog I just want to show you my good quick dinner show you my day um in the midst of today of fixing dinner and just kind of having a lazy Sunday. Uh, we received the news that um, Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gigi and three other people were killed today in a helicopter crash and my heart goes out to his wife Vanessa. My mother-in-law had to bury my stepfather four months, I mean <laughs> my father-in-law, oh my god, oh, not my stepfather, my father-in-law uh, four months ago and buried my sister-in-law her daughter um, just Tuesday and on Thursday two days later we lost her mother my husband's grandmother and we are laying her to rest on next Saturday so life is short you know love on your loved ones small things let it go i know it's easier said than done but we have to that tv is so loud guys i'm so sorry but it just kind of for my husband hold on guys Woo! but my husband and i you know just hearing that and dealing with a tragedy in our family we truly and completely sympathize with the Bryant family. Um, his his parents, his siblings, their friends, everyone. We just sympathize because I, I we're going through it. We've been through it. We're going through it. It's, it hurts. It, it hurts. And so I just want to say that, you know, just wanted to give out that. I'm just making a sentimental move right now. And, um, but Nevertheless, you know, I'm, I'm going to keep on trucking. Uh, my husband and I uh, and his family, we're going to get through the storm. But I just wanted to come on here, give you guys a quick video, say hello. Hope you enjoyed my cooking videos. If you'd like to see more of them, please like, subscribe, and comment below. Um, my heart has been very heavy, and I will probably do a lot of vlogging um just because of what we're going through but i thank you all for watching and i hope you liked it please like subscribe comment below thumbs up even if you thumbs down thank you for watching <laughs>